Hi Gemini, welcome to your end of March general forecast. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new or returning, welcome and thank you. So Gemini, we're going to take a look at the energy around you at this time. Could be general, could be love, could be work, career, finance. We're just going to take whatever energies come out. So please only take what resonates and throw away the rest. It may or may or may not be for you. So if it's not fitting for you, it's probably not your reading. So please don't try to make it fit. Could be past, present, or future. Could be something else going on around you that could be affecting you. Um, so please keep that in mind. And this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter, male or female watching this. So let's see what's going on for you, Gemini, at this time. This is a Zodiac Oracle. So we could get a sign, element, or planet and see uh, if you resonate with that. If not, totally fine. And I do consider my readings timeless. So in the description box, you will find your... Uh, love and general playlist along with the decks I'm using social media links how to reach out for personal reading if you would like to tip donate send a gift all that info is below in the description box as well as the pin top comment and if you're not comfortable if you'd like to uh, send an energy exchange or tip or donate and you're not comfortable using PayPal during the premiere only super chat is open and available for energy exchanges tips and donations if you choose to if you do thank you so Gemini Let's see what we have for Gemini at this time. All right, Gemini. We have Taurus. So some of you could be dealing with the Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or Jupiter. Maybe you have Taurus in your chart, but the Taurus uh, in the tarot does represent the Hierophant, which speaks of marriage, commitment, uh, morals, values, uh, integrity, uh, religion, faith, spirituality, uh, learning, institutional things like the government and school and things like that law so let's see how that plays into your reading for you gemini so let's get with this deck here i'm going to get an opening message for you then i'll pull another for your energy and then go over the bottom of the deck and then we'll clarify that energy with the tarot and then we'll look at your actual situation um advice possible outcome extra messages with healing with the fairies after and then I have these cards here I purchased from the Dollar Tree. They're prayer cards. They had two different kinds I mixed together. You could call them prayers or affirmations. So at the end, I'll take those and I'll get you one of those. And we'll get a prayer or affirmation for you for the end of the reading. So let's see what's going on for Gemini at this time. All right. What is the opening message for Gemini Spirit, please? Opening message... Oh, that's two. Opening message for Gemini. So we have the two of Ariel. It's important to have balance, working multiple jobs or projects at once, making work fun. So this is the two of pentacles energy. So you could be juggling around a lot of ideas, thoughts, energies, uh, work, career, friends, family. I mean, just having a lot of responsibility and juggling a lot around right now so what needing to find balance all right so or could be your uh finances are a little out of balance and there's a need to balance them out so how that resonates for you so let's get one for your energy what is the energy of gemini at this time and now we have the three so we go from the two to the three wow do what you love, a time of great personal growth in your career or artistic endeavors, working with others in a cooperative manner. So now we're going from the two to the three. So you actually could be learning something new or just collaborating. And now uh, this could lead to like things just balancing out for you. Could be a new job or a promotion or something like that where you're learning something new and uh, collaborating with others. So let's see what's on the bottom. So nice, we have the star, Archangel Jophiel, a dream come true, believe in yourself, the end of a difficult situation. So the situation of being imbalanced, things being out of whack, are now going to come into balance because you're, you, you have something new. So whatever this three of pentacles is, whatever this new thing is you're learning or collaborating on, or whatever here is divinely guided for you. It's a wish dream come true. It's, you know, having that faith, hope, and optimism and healing energy. Wow. So 
I feel like a period of <clears throat> imbalanced energy is now ending due to some divinely guided thing coming into you. So it could be even a new project. It could be a new idea where you're collaborating with other people or just having teamwork and collaboration and working on either a new endeavor, like I said, an idea, a project, or a promotion, or, or, or even a new job. All right, so let's clarify this energy for you, Gemini, to see what's going on, Gemini. So I do ask, uh, Gemini, that uh, if you'd like to participate in the giveaway I'm having, um, as a big thank you to all who have participated in supporting my channel in any way you have done that, I am having a giveaway. You can win a tarot deck along with a free 20-minute reading of your choice. It is through the end of March, and then I'll pick a winner. So if you'd like to enter that, check the description box, the pinned top comment on how to enter. And if you do, thank you. So, all right. Let's clarify this energy for Gemini. What is this energy about for Gemini spirit, please? So we have, wow, the Ten of Cups and the Judgment. So whatever this... Um, idea, project, endeavor, promotion, new job, or whatever. I feel like you had to make a judgment call here, make a, a decision on whether or not you wanted to accept this or move forward here. But by doing so here, it's leading you to your Ten of Cups, total happiness, joy, fulfillment in every single way. So here, working on, working on your Ten of Cups, and deciding here to work on that. All right, so let's get more for this energy for you, Gemini. Wheel of Fortune, so there you go. Fate, destiny, divine timing, things going in a better direction, in your favor, fortune, growth, abundance coming in. Things just going and getting better here as you're working on something new, getting your Ten of Cups energy. So we have the Three of Cups energy. So it's about coming together and celebrating, having a good time. But you see, it's just in black and white. This deck has two cards. Um, there's two cards in here that has duplicates. One is the Three of Cups, and I think the other is the Nine of Wands. So this one is in black and white. So I feel like you may not be at the point yet, yet where you can celebrate, but you know it's coming. And soon... You know, once you learn this, once you master this, once things are balanced out, you're in a better energy, then there'll be time for celebration. So, you know, maybe in your mind, like, you know, we're going to have a celebration of some kind, but it's not happening yet. So, yeah, six of pentacle energy, so things balancing out. So we have out of balance, and then we have balance. So once... Your finances, your career, everything is balanced out. It's just a period of waiting right now. Three wands, a period of waiting. So, you know, waiting for your finances to balance out, fortune to come in, growth, abundance, making that judgment call to the Ten of Cups, working on this, then they'll be celebrating. Then they'll be celebrating. Not right now. I feel like you're still working at getting things... Um, balanced out for you as you're moving forward so let's see what uh your actual situation so we have the moon energy so that could be about not not seeing things clearly being a little disillusioned but we do have the eight of wands so this is moving forward uh passionately taking action travel movement communication so this is the actual so let's see so we have the Devil and the Seven of Wands. Devil. Seven of Wands. Let's get one more. One more. One more. So we have the Devil right <clears throat> in the middle here. The Four of Cups. Which talks about boredom disenchantment kind of energy 
So I feel like with the devil right in the middle here, this could be fear, depression. It could be anxiety, stress, worry. So you could have been going through a period here where your everything was just so out of whack that you had a lot of fear, stress, worry, anxiety, maybe even, even a little depressed, um, maybe a little on edge too. Not sure, you know, what's going to happen here for my future, being a little um, confused, can't see clearly, but things always come to light here. So this could have been some kind of, you know, because the Eight of Wands could speak of fiery, passion, passionate, exciting communication or travel action movement. So something moves forward here because it always almost reminds me of the Wheel of Fortune. So I feel like, you know, you're fighting and you're not giving up and you're feeling bored in whatever situation you were in where things were so out of balance. You're like, I'm just done with this energy already. But, you know, you have the, have the energy here of not giving up either, but having all this devil energy also, like toxic thoughts in your mind and feelings and that kind of energy. But we do have all this energy up here of making a judgment call and learning something new to your Ten of Cups, working on that, things balancing out. It's a period of waiting, though. But once this wheel turns everything in your favor, things balance out, then you'll be celebrating. So could have been you were waiting on a promotion or a new job or something like that. So let's get let's divinely guide for you with the stars, your dreams coming true. So let's get advice for you, Gemini. Advice for you, Gemini. Nine of Cups. So just know here that, again, wishes and dreams coming true. Just like the star energy, happiness and joy and fulfillment with the Nine of Cups. Wow, we have the star again showing up and strength. Wow. So this is telling you, again, not to give up, to have strength, courage, to be brave. Um, to have willpower, determination, because divinely guided energy is coming in for you, to have faith, hope, and optimism. Two cards here of wishes and dreams, three cards of wishes and dreams coming true here to stay strong. <coughs> Sorry about the coughing. I did get over the flu a few weeks back, but I still have a little bit of a lingering cough, so... I apologize in advance for that. So one more for your advice. One more for the advice for Gemini. The hangman. Yeah, so being in limbo but getting a new perspective, things may be just kind of still and stagnant. So while you're in this hangman position, um, feeling like things are kind of stu still stuck and stagnant, just know that if this hasn't happened yet, all that energy is here that wishes and dreams will be coming true to stay strong while things are kind of on a pause. Things may not be moving right now the way you want them to. But just know you will be working on something new here and it could be working on like that new promotion or something. You will have fulfillment here. So what is the possible outcome for Gemini? The Page of Swords. So this could be doing research online. You could be researching. Uh, maybe you, you you know applied for a promotion or um, a different job or in the field that you're in or something like that or a different position. And maybe you're just researching um, online about that type of position, learning everything you can about it kind of energy. That's also truthful, honest communication. Coming in, going out. So now we have temperance. So things balancing out here. To have patience here. So this is a possible outcome. So by having patience, and things will balance out. Balance again. Healing energy, peace, harmony, joy. So again, balancing energy to be patient. By being patient, things will balance out for you. Honest, truthful uh, communication coming in. A queen of wands, king or queen, doesn't matter. Being that fiery, passionate, go-getter kind of energy. Entrepreneur, creative kind of energy. 
going after it. So once this communication comes in, you'll be going after it. You'll be accepting it. Offer, communication, whatever here. And balancing out your energies here. Balancing. Being patient. The Hierophant, so being committed to this journey. So there's that Taurus energy I spoke of was the Hierophant. Being committed to this journey. Um, here. Nine of Swords. So being stressed, fear, worry, anxiety about this. But moving forward successfully with balance. Victory. Five of Wands. So you know this competition. You know this competition. But we have the Four of Pentacles. So you're holding on to your stability, your foundation. You may be, you know, holding back, waiting to move forward, yet yeah, holding back your energy. Nine of Wands. So kind of feeling like the wounded warrior, but you're not. Again, it's black and white. It's not colored like here. So you're feeling a little beat up, but you're not so beat up that you can't keep going on, you know. So here's a repeating card with the Two of Pentacles. So here's the Queen of Swords now, which is to me is always like divine energy. Again, and that's your energy, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. So again, I feel like, <laughs> wow. So yeah, in balance, in balance, feel like, you know, little beat up here, but not too bad yet, you know, feeling a little imbalanced, but uh, a little hot broke into, but again, king of pentacles, king or queen, doesn't matter, and now we have um, the page of pentacles, so he has an offer coming in, and now the king of pentacles, being king in your domain, making your money, making your pentacles, being, being stable, secure, and grounded, and the ace of pentacles so there's your stable new beginning for the long term having growth abundance prosperity for the long term the ace of pentacles and under that even the queen of pentacles so yeah <laughs> you you will balance out <coughs> here and uh all this pentacle energy is coming in for you wow a lot of stability here so we have Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Uh, let's see, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Let's see here. We have Cancer. We have Taurus. We have Aquarius over here. We have uh, Scorpio. We have Sagittarius. We have Pisces. We have Capricorn. We have Pisces again. We have um, Leo Sag Aries. We have Aquarius again, Sagittarius, Libra Gemini Aquarius. So divinely guided energy coming into you, wishes, all wishes and dreams, fulfillment coming true. And balance, finally getting balance in your life and getting growth, abundance and prosperity for the long term. And that offer coming into you. All right, so Gemini, let's get some closing messages for you, Gemini. I do ask Gemini, especially if you're new, check out my channel, like what you see, feel free to like, share, subscribe, comment, hit the bell, you won't miss out, and I love to read the comments. Right now, I'm doing about five readings a month, to love, to general, and bonus. I may be switching that up. If you head on over to my community tab, I have two polls there I would like everyone to vote on. Um, what kind of readings you would like to see per month? And if you would like extended readings on Vimeo. So if you participate, thank you. So we have creative expression here. So that may mean something to somebody. So being creative and be able to express your creative side in some way. Maybe with this opportunity here of this divinely guided energy. What else here for Gemini? Vacation. So maybe some of you, <laughs> I don't need to take a vacation get away maybe after all this balance is out for you you can take a well-earned vacation <coughs> in moving forward fearlessly so don't hold back move forward fearlessly to this divinely guided wish come true all right Gemini let's get a closing affirmation or prayer for you Gemini get a closing affirmation and a prayer for Gemini spirit please thank you so much one more shuffle 
All right. What is the prayer or affirmation for Gemini, please? Thank you so much. Prayer, affirmation for Gemini. All right, let's take this one. She is more precious than rubies. Okay, so <laughs> you have a lot of abundance coming into you. Something that has that will have a lot of value and worth. So it's more precious than rubies. So yeah, a lot of value, worth, abundance, growth, prosperity coming into you, Gemini. Okay, Gemini, uh, best of luck to you. Sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channel, is to always, always shine your light.